Hi, and welcome to another video from AU. Uh, I'm standing here with Joe Astroth, our VP of Education and Chief Education Officer at Autodesk. Hi, Joe. Greetings. Thank you for joining us today. So we know Autodesk is committed to helping the next generation of architects, engineers, and digital artists to create a better world using Autodesk technology. What kinds of investments uh, is Autodesk making for education, Joe? Okay. We have a multifaceted uh, investment strategy. Number one, we work with educators at all levels, starting at secondary through post-secondary, and helping them drive changes in engineering education or pre-engineering education and digital arts education. We're also making our software available free to students through our education community, and that starts again at the high school level and goes all the way through postgraduate studies at post-secondary. And that community is up to over 1.7 million students and faculty members or educators participating in that. We also work in, w internally to develop uh, free curricula using uh, external uh, consultants, uh, professors sort of in their off time to help us develop new curricula and we provide that free of uh, cost to, to educators, again both at secondary and post-secondary. Wow. I've already mentioned and I want to stress if, if, if you're out there watching this and, and you have a son or daughter who's not a member of the Autodesk education community, just go ahead and Google you know, Google it, as, yeah. the, as the kids say. They actually say something else a little bit I can't say on camera. Uh, but go out and Google it and get your son and daughter uh, joined up. Free access to over 20 of our products. And these are the real professional products. We don't cripple them in any way. Wow. It's the full-blown product that professionals are using. And this is even, if they're not an architecture student, just any student can do this. Is that right? Any student, as long as you're a fully registered student, as long as you're a fully registered student, uh, you can participate in that program. And then the last thing I want to uh, point out because we need to scale this yeah. and we partner with several uh, external organizations, professional organizations who are leaders in STEM education like Project Lead the Way focused on STEM education here in the United States who has a program rolled out at over 4,200 high schools wow. uh, and middle schools across the United States. Uh, you're going to hear, I think, from Dave Lavery later in this broadcast. Uh, he's from NASA. We partner with NASA who wow. uh, very, is very active. Uh, in pr um, promoting STEM education across the United States. So those are a couple examples. Wow, it sounds like there's a lot of change in education and, and those are some of the, what are some of the trends actually? You just mentioned a couple of things that are doing, what are some other trends? Well, the biggest trend that I see worldwide, so let's take this out of just the United States. When I interact with deans of engineering or architecture or the digital arts around the world, in fact, just came back from Singapore for a world gathering of, of engineering deans, I hear one thing over and over. We need to train our engineers in a holistic manner. So it's not about just the, the basic physics and science and math and engineering principles um, or architecture principles. They need to understand the viability of what they're designing from a business perspective. You know, what's the business mm -hmm. model? What's, mm -hmm. And also in terms of desirability from the humanities point of view. What do people really need and want? Right? So in terms of building a product, um, you know, you got to be able to sell it and, and people really, you know, need to want it. You so know, it's, it's not designing in a vacuum. It's, it's not designing. Right? So it's a holistic approach. So that's, right. that's probably the, uh, the number one thing that I see going on is a holistic pr approach. And that fits perfectly with Autodesk and our portfolio of products, right. our approach to integrated design. Right. right. So that's fantastic. That's great. So what other things are going on with some of the industries that you mentioned? You're partnering, I know, with uh, uh, some industries and there's some big initiatives there. Tell me what you're doing there. Okay. So one thing uh, in terms of what we're doing is, is we're really a proponent of hands-on, project-based approach to learning uh, across the board. So we're partnering with, I mentioned Project Lead the Way, uh, which is a hands-on, project-based uh, curriculum, pre-engineering curriculum, okay. uh, geared at the secondary school and middle, so middle and high school level. But also we were sponsoring extracurricular activities like mm -hmm. FIRST and VEX Robotics competitions. FIRST is getting ready to kick off here uh, next month. VEX is a year-round in the classroom, uh, mm -hmm. you know, learning experience and a, and a competition. Uh, we had Shell Eco Marathon at the post-secondary level uh, where college engineering students are designing you know, eco-friendly cars, uh, and then Formula Student, which is spread throughout Europe and is a very big uh, activity for engineering students um, and design students as well uh, throughout Europe. We also are partnering with some very important organizations like Change the Equation. This is an mm -hmm. industry organization. We're a founding member uh, of industries in the United States who are, are concerned about the quality of workforce and the availability of workforce in the STEM, science, technology, engineering, mm -hmm. math disciplines in the United States. 
we kicked off our, our inaugural meeting at the White House. They had the good fortune of being there representing uh, Autodesk. Mm -hmm. President Obama was there, spent over an hour with us uh, discussing the initiative. He had a follow-up uh, meeting at the White House where he invited mm -hmm. the winners from the first Invex and other competitions at the White House, just like he invites the winner of the NCAA basketball you know, right. competition <laughs> and so forth. Right. We're working with the ministries of education in India, China, Malaysia, and many other countries to help them redesign their engineering curriculum on a national level and also yes. providing software and curricular materials uh, to their universities across India and China, for example, where 15,000 universities over the next three to five years, just in China alone, wow. will, have, will be, their students will have access to Inventor, Max, and Maya, and will become certified in those products. 15,000 technical wow. colleges across millions of students. Wow. Right. So it's really impressive. Um, I have one more question for you, but uh, some of the programs you just mentioned, can people get more information online somewhere about some of those and some of the competitions you just talked about? Yes, yeah, so we have a great web presence uh, at Autodesk.com, and you can go in through that way and learn more about our education initiatives, right. or you can go directly into the education community if you're an educator, uh, or again, if you have a, a child who's a student, or if you're a Great. student watching this, you can go in there and learn much more about all these initiatives. Great. I just wanted to make sure people know where to go. Um, one final thing. So we're at Autodesk University right now, which is made up of primarily Autodesk customers, um, commercial customers. But what is, what is your message to them about the importance of education? Well, I don't need to tell them because what we hear from our customers, in fact, many, many of these initiatives, Project Lead the Way, I'll go back to that, that was started by an industrialist, um, who runs a manufacturing concern in the Northeast in the United States, and he was so concerned that he, they're not, we're not getting the students out of our university systems in the United States uh, who are really trained in the skill sets that he needed you know, to run his business. I hear that over and over again, whether it's big companies, small companies, we need students to be better trained. Mm -hmm. and, and that means having a hands-on experience, problem-solving approach, but also that holistic approach again. We need students who are well, more well-rounded and they can move from job to job within the company. So we're hearing that over and over again. I'm sure the customers here uh, understand that uh, better than I do right. in terms of that, that need. So that's one thing we, we, we hear. We also, what I need for the uh, you know, people watching uh, this video and, and also those of you at AU to get involved. Yep. You know, become, whether it's if <clears throat> becoming an, an active alum at your you know, college or university that you graduated from, or get involved at your local school. You know, become a mentor uh, on one of these um, competitions, extracurricular competitions, FIRST, VEX, uh, mm -hmm. Shell Eco Marathon. You know, use your skills, inspire kids at a very early age to take a look at engineering and architecture and the digital arts uh, so that they, we can get them excited. Because we know we can get them excited when they're young and give them, you know, open their minds to, to math and science and engineering that there's, you know, much greater possibility uh, for them going into post-secondary education in, in those disciplines. Well, I've been listening to you talk for a few years now, Joe, and it's really exciting, the education program here. I love the, the thought that maybe this next generation will be the Autodesk generation. Good luck in yeah. your programs. Great. Thank, Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for being Thanks. with us.